What are you waiting for? Get started. You want me to fill all of these? Jack, you need some instruction? You pick up the salt shaker. You turn the top counterclockwise. Mom, I'm not an idiot. I know how to fill salt shakers. Really? Well, you know what? I'm a little shocked here because every time I look over at you, you're just playing around. You're setting them down with the top half off like you want the salt to fall out all over everybody. You know it's April vacation, right? Would you rather be in school? I'd rather be in Aruba. <laughs> you know I could have gone with Brad's family. But, no. I'm stuck here. Doing stupid jobs for my mom. That's right. Because you're grounded until further notice because of what you did to Shane Marasco. You're not going anywhere. Look, I said I was sorry, okay? What more do you want from me? Thanks. I'd like to know a little bit more about your family before we begin Shane's therapy. I always tape my sessions. Is that all right with you, Shane? Yeah, I guess. So, what can you tell me about the composition of your household? How long have you been married? Oh, uh, actually, we're not. But, should we? Why not? Um, Shane, honey, we have some good news that we want to share with you. <laughs> I'd say it's great news. What is it? Your parents are getting married. You're lucky filling salt shakers is all I'm having to do for now. What's next? Pepper shakers? Try me. You got a toothbrush? I have toilets to clean. This sucks. You think I'm being tough on you, Jack? You wait till your father gets better. He's gonna be way tougher than I am. Don't you mean if my father gets better? If he doesn't die? Jack, I know that this has been very, very hard on you. But your father is going to get better. Les, a couple of years have been hard on all of us. I mean, with Eli and... I told you that guy was a homicidal maniac. Yes, you did. Everything that happened with Taya and what your father hurt. Mom, he didn't fall off a ladder. Somebody shot him. Okay. Now he's in a coma. Listen, I need to apologize to you. Does that mean I'm not grounded no, anymore? No, would you just listen to me, all right? Hear me out. Listen, I don't know if, if it's because you're so smart and independent or that you, you take care of your brother, do whatever you need to do. I don't know. I just know that I have not... I haven't been paying enough attention to you, Jack, and I'm, and I'm very sorry about that. Because you must have just an enormous amount of anger to be built up in you for you to, to harass Shane like that. Oh, please. No, no, no. That's going to change, all right? Starting with my life. I am going to make better choices with the men that I date. Better choices for my family so I can be a better parent. And I'm certainly going to keep a better eye on you, okay? Okay. Can you sign for these glasses? Well, I didn't order any glasses. Says if someone did. That's great. Congratulations. That's all you have to say? What's wrong with it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. To be honest, we just were expecting a bigger reaction. I mean, this is what we've all wanted, right? For a long time, right? I know that we're already a family, but this just makes it official. <laughs> Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Thanks. Now, I'd like to speak to Shane alone. Alone? No way. Okay, Cheech. No, oh, I'm not going anywhere. Whatever she has to say to Shane, she can say it to me, too. Well, I guess Christian ordered these. So do you want the glasses, or...? Uh, yeah, sure. We can always use more glasses. So you guys just bring them on in here and unload them, and I'm going to head over to the bank, so I'll be right back, okay? I finished the salt shakers. Can I go now? Uh, no, you can't. You still have pepper to do. In fact, why don't you help these guys unload these, and I'll be right back. Mom, come on. No. You can't be serious. Uh, it's a heart attack. Fine. I mean, I guess we could put these in the cabinet over there. Whoa. 
and my friend got a message for you. Stay away from Shane Marasco. I understand your concern, and I will be meeting with all three of you regularly. But today, I do need to meet with Shane alone. Shane, could you please wait outside for a minute? Yeah, okay. With all due respect, Dr. Guhari, I think that being alone and not talking to his parents is what got Shane here in the first place. Gigi. I don't think it's a good idea to give him one more way to keep secrets from us, because keeping secrets almost killed my son. Gigi. I don't... We need to trust Dr. Rex, our son almost died. Okay? He almost jumped off of a roof while we watched. I know that. That is why we're here. Shane needs to see a professional, and Dr. Buhari is the professional. Okay, whatever. We'll get Shane. Okay. Shane, you can go in now. Okay, now you can go in. I think I'm gonna hit the cafeteria. You want anything? How about some of that delicious vending machine cocoa you like so much? No, I just, I get some coffee. Thank you. You wanna come? No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. How do you feel about your parents' engagement? I know what they're doing. What's that? I think getting married will fix everything. And will it? Some things just won't ever be fixed. Who the hell are you? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is we know who you are. And now it's time you got a taste of your own medicine. Get the hell off me! Yo, give me a hand here. Hey, give me... little boy. Tough guy. You tell me to kid again, and I will end you. I swear. Both of you. What's going on here? What? Oh my god, Jack! Get out of here! You'll come back. What, what happened? Jack, let me look at this. Are you all right? Oh my god. I'm fine. Who were those men? Come I don't off. know. I don't know. When I walked in, they were uh, roughing up Jack. Well, what do they want with Jack? I have no idea. I do. When you say some things can never be fixed, are you referring to something specific? Well, what do you think your parents are trying to fix by getting married? Everything. Like what? They think that getting married will just magically change everything and I'll be happy. So you won't be happy if they get married? I mean, I guess I will, but it's not gonna change anything. People are still gonna hate me. I'm still gonna be Wheezy, the kid with the inhaler. They're still gonna think I'm a loser. You told me that's what you were thinking about when you went up on the roof that everyone hated you and that you're a loser. And do you still think about killing yourself? Ow, ow! Come here, come here, come here, come here. Who's that loser? Shane Marasco. Shane, why, why do you think he would do this? Because I said so. Just... They told me to stay away from Shane, or else. What? Okay, you know what? We gotta call the cops. No, no, don't call the police. Why not? Are you okay, sweetie? Can we go home now? Sure. I just need to talk to Dr. Bahari for a minute. Whatever. What can I do for you? Tell me what happened. What did Shane say? I'm sorry. I can't tell you anything Shane tells me in therapy. What? But are you... That's just wrong. 
Two goons come into my business and attack my son, and you don't want me to call the cops? Of course I do, but Jack's hurt. You need to take him to the hospital. Oh, God. All right, get, go grab your jacket. Mom, really? I'm going to take okay. you to get you checked out. All right. All right? I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't shown up. I mean, what were you doing here? I just came to follow up on our date. doesn't matter now. Take Jack. Well, I don't know. I mean, he's just a boy. Tomas, I mean, he could have... But he wasn't. It's just a bump on the head. Go. I'll clean up this mess. Thanks. Thank you. Come on, get your jacket on. Therapy sessions are confidential. And it's important for Shane to know he can trust me. That nothing he chooses to tell me will be repeated. Not even to his parents? Especially not his parents. Oh, what if... What if he tries to kill himself again? I know you're scared, but try to trust the therapeutic process. How can I just sit back and trust the process when I'm just waiting for... Just, I, I don't know what to do. Please tell me. Just tell me what to do. I have to do something. All you need to do is listen to him and love him. I've been doing that this whole life. God, because I, th I thought I was listening. How did I, how did I miss this? This isn't about being a perfect parent. That's impossible, no matter how much you love your kids. Well, I don't think I can ever stop trying. I'll be here for you, too, if you need me. Just... Just help Shane. Please. Just keep him from... Just keep him from ever doing something like this again. Let's go find your dad. Hello. Uh, my son fell and hit his head. He needs to see a doctor. Someone will be with him in a few moments. Do you have your insurance card? Yes, I don't. What? Why not? Because we changed carriers, Jack. But my ex-husband's office is just across the way. I'll be right back, so come on. Give me a few minutes and I'll be back. You sit here and you wait. Do not move or you will be grounded until the next century. Got it? Shane, um, I'm going to have a little chat with your dad. Could you... Yeah, yeah, I'll be here. Come on. What happened to you? Oh, you know what happened to me, jackass. 